show for you. Have I got a show for you? I got nine shows today for the price of one. We're going to be chatting today with Joe DeReese. Joe DeReese is back in town, and I've got him. I've got Mort Kunstler. Mr. Kunstler is the prize-winning artist of uh, artists and his uh, historical uh, paintings, his Newsweek covers, his uh, paintings of the uh, early West and of the space shuttle, the uh, takeoffs and the landings are just uh, monumentally uh, part of our culture. Got a thousand surprises, a little more today on uh, poetry, a little more on bodyguarding, a little more on uh, Beth and uh, Calvin and Joni to help me talk about art. My guest is one of the, and this man's painting sell for about $35,000. Maybe, maybe once in a while, $10,000, but, but, uh, how much, how much you got in our pockets today? Well, uh, suppose we want to buy one. No, my <laughs> guest is a highly accomplished and prize-winning artist, Morton Kunstler, and, uh, uh, specializing in, would you say, uh, Morton, uh, historical? H history, yes. I've painted the history of America, really. Uh, from the emergence of the uh, Native Americans, uh, cave-dwelling Indians, uh, up to the space shuttle. All historic events. The Old West? Oh, yeah. I've sure done an awful lot of the paintings of the Old West because it's history and it's probably the uh, most exciting part of history, really, for the average person, anyway. It was for me. That's the reason I have painted so many pictures. What was your favorite battle scene or your favorite battle sequence ever? Oh, God, I, I couldn't even Don't answer that. I think it. every picture that I start on is my favorite at the time, you know? Mm. And uh, I think that's standard for every artist. He thinks it's the best picture he's ever done. You are, really, you are really into history, though, especially, oh, yeah, especially yeah. early American events, right? Oh, sure. Well, not, not really. I mean, I'm, I'm right up to, to the space shuttle now. And as a matter of fact, I think I painted more pictures of World War II battle scenes than any artist alive. Uh, uh, any artist ever, I should say. There was a uh, show of my uh, World War II paintings uh, at the U.S. Navy Memorial Museum just this, uh, well, I, I guess it was a year or so ago. Why do uh, I like to talk more about the old days? I don't know why. Have you done Betsy Ross yet? We're gonna oh, get sure. Where, where's that book of mine? With, uh, with the flag? It's, uh, yeah. Uh, sure, she's got the flag right in her uh, We'll show, we'll show some of these. But anyhow, oh. this is uh, Mort Kunstler, Epic Paintings of America. You got no, uh, you're at the Hammer Galleries normally. Right. It's Nothing running now? Well, no, I won't have a, I had a show this past uh, October. Right. And I will not have another show now until 85. Mm. But you had a front row seat, as they say. This man, uh, Mort Kunstler panel, uh, uh, was the uh, gentleman who painted from different angles at the uh, lifting up and the settling right. down of the space shuttle. Well, yeah. You were actually there. Yeah, sure right. was. Uh, in 79, as a matter of fact, uh, uh, Bob Anderson, the chairman of the board of Rockwell International, who are uh, the prime contractors for the space shuttle, uh, uh, came to me and asked me if I'd be interested in doing a series of paintings on the space shuttle. And I said, I think you've got the wrong guy. You uh, mean from the ground? No, uh, well, of course from the ground. You didn't sure. mean on the actual voyage. No, 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 of course How not. about you go on the next journey? How about that? Well, that's what I'm really asking. Ta talk about that. What, what, what would you well, paint going up and down on the next space shuttle, Morton? Well, that's why I want to go up. Well, I mean, what would, what <laughs> so I can see what oh, to find. Oh, you don't know in advance, right? <laughs> well, that's why I want to go. The right. little dots that they saw out the window. Well, well the, the first, uh, uh, the assignment originally called for three paintings, the launch, the touchdown, and uh, the first rollout. Right. And my first question in 79 to Bob Anderson was, uh, uh, let's say they all go smoothly. Uh, the logical next picture is uh, a painting in space. What are the chances? Right. So he said, well, you're young enough and stay in shape. And I've been, uh, on, I was on a track team in college, and I've been running ever since anyway, so that wasn't a problem. How many letters did you win back in those days? I won a lot of them. <laughs> How many? Should I brag about Bra my athletics? Brag, brag. How many? Well, uh, I guess about 16. 16 I, letters? Well, I was, uh, yeah, I was the, the first four-letter man in the history of Brooklyn College. I mean, their sports hall of fame. And I don't think there have been many four-letter men uh, since those days. No, I know they haven't had any, uh, really. And wow. uh, I uh, was the leading scorer on the basketball team, and I was good enough to be the Metropolitan AU Javelin champion and the Hurdles uh, uh, winner. Boy. Regularly, and, you know, Dumich, and I came in fourth in the Penn Relays. That was about the best I did with... More now that the space shuttle is, is maybe temporarily halted and nothing's happening now, what, 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 what was, for you, the most meaningful uh, part of the whole... Uh, well, well, Joe, I know everyone has seen it on television, right. but there is no way to, to describe the emotional feelings of that liftoff simply because you can't hear the sound. Mm. And uh, it goes up in complete silence because you're a couple of miles away. And then when the sound hits, you see this enormous cloud of steam 
come up, and then this flame shoots out that's over a, 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 the length of a football field long and brighter than the sun, and everything is in total quiet. Mm. And then when the sound wave hits, it is so strong it is. that the, the earth vibrates like, like an earthquake, and you, you, you just stand there shaking. What are we seeing now, Mr. Kunstler? Oh, that, that's the uh, painting I did of the uh, uh, launch uh, after a lot of preliminary studying, and it was made into a poster and was shown in the... In the um, uh, oh, in Boston, Phoenix, and New York in an exhibition of all of the paintings that I did. I, did a, I ended up doing a series of about ten, I would say. I did portraits of the astronauts, got to know them. I, uh, uh, here, here's the uh, portrait of Bob uh, 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 Crippen and John Young, uh, the first uh, flight crew. Here's the picture of the first rollout. Uh, uh, that was a very difficult painting. And these paintings, the originals are... Oh, three by four feet and three by five feet. They're really quite uh, uh, large. Uh, then they ran into a problem with the application of the tiles. And here you see a painting I did uh, where the uh, men down at the Cape were uh, putting the tiles on the bottom of the craft. It was, again, an interesting uh, uh, project. It was a very high security area and very difficult to get the feeling of it. I ended up an official uh, artist for NASA also on this uh, project. That, of course, is the touchdown. And I was flown out to uh, Edwards Air Force Base in California after the launch in uh, uh, Florida and uh, was able to uh, witness this uh, also. This man panel is really into history, especially depicting early day events and life and uh, those periods and uh, getting into heavy research, heavy detail. Let me start with uh, Joni Emanuel. What do you want to ask or say of Mr. Mort Kunstler and his epic paintings of America? He Let's must hear. have realized quite an education doing all of these paintings. Very, very true. I've gotten to, to meet an awful lot of interesting and